are saying it that cows are the senior citizens of Nigeria. Oh, oh, no believer. <laughs> Uh, human being go get ministry, cow go get ministry. <laughs> ministry of cow affairs. Uh, then to come modernize them, they don't want to call and cow, they said our livestock. Ministry of livestock development. They for put them affairs, but they don't want to make it just sound like Ministry of Women Affairs. <laughs> because the Ministry of Livestock uh, Development. <laughs> this creation of this ministry shows the hypocrisy is that the word hypocrisy or the cluelessness of the Tunubu government and i could tell you why but before i tell you that why you guys watch this video make you laugh small uh, as they take the first great committee or committee of uh, livestock development the concrete ministry so very soon we have a minister of cow and animal cow <laughs> yeah 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 as I, but before I talk with it in my mind, before I show on the cluelessness of this government, eh? Eh? Make you first watch this video. Go watch. Nigeria's livestock sector has long been plagued by conflicts between herders and farmers, inadequate infrastructure, and underutilized economic potential. These issues have led to food insecurity, loss of lives, and economic stagnation, particularly in rural areas. But today, a new initiative aims to turn these challenges into opportunities. President Bola Tinubu inaugurates a committee to revolutionize Nigeria's livestock sector. Who says the solution is far? I say no, the solution is here. With these distinguished personalities, we've solved the problem. We've identified the model for livestock management. It is done in other countries, in other claims, successfully promoted. It created great economy and empowerment for ordinary people. This sector will boost agricultural productivity and as export opportunities and stimulate economic growth by fostering a robust value chain that benefits farmers, processors, herders, distributors, and consumers alike. In addition to the committee, the president announced the creation of a new ministry. This presents a unique opportunity also to delineate and establish a separate ministry called the Ministry of Livestock Development. We develop the economy, give people opportunity to excel. President Nubu also called for support from state governments and appoints Professor Atairu Jega as deputy chairman. He however thanks former Kano governor and current APC national chairman Abdullahi Ganduje for organizing the national conference on livestock reforms. At this juncture, I will ap appeal to remove every taint of partisan politics from it. Assume the chairmanship of the committee as the president and appoint Professor Tyro Jagger as my deputy or co-chair. This is not about policy. This is about opportunity. This is about our nation. You here as the tech explainer. Uh -huh. So the committee now where they oversee this because they don't create the minister, the minister never come on board, they have created the ministry. But there's a committee now, you understand, that is overseeing the the whole thing for now until the minister comes on board. And that committee is chaired by Mr. President. And then he have a co-chair. Who? Atehuru Jega, former uh 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 Professor Atehuru Jega. He's co-chairing that committee with Tinobu, we can say cow. <laughs> that I said I would say after that video. Shall this government come out say they want to implement the Ora Sanya report? 
what is the other side report and this the uh, multiplicity of offices inside this country uh, say they want all these offices where we say like two three offices where we say they do the same thing they will cut them off leave only one abby uh, they want to end duplicity duplicity of offices and i know it now one talk say office they double three times four times uh, but they are all doing the same thing they want to clear it and have only one that will still be doing that same thing why are you creating the ministry of livestock development when there is ministry of agriculture or oh, will the same thing can have work and name it's not the same thing agriculture does it not include livestock so why are you now creating livestock development ministry of livestock De De development when you have already started when you have already implemented the oral sire report Tinobu, are you being blackmailed by the north to give them something they can hold on to eh? talk now because this life will tell them now eh? Eh? okay you say you want to use that and uh full of new men uh, and uh, uh, grazing open grazing one is not end there uh, the, okay so for you to end it you have to compensate that with the ministry so now that is now come the make sure see uh, the the end of the, because see might tell you that ministry of life so forget it now not a good idea <laughs> eh? in fact the few even carry the headquarters now carry and go can or jigawa or taba or ta, ta, taraba or, all this that no you can't go keep for the answer you understand eh? So, is that ministry a composition for the North? Eh? Because some know they do livestock now. Eh? Ministry of Agriculture is supposed to cover everything. But look at the cruelness of this government. Now we have the Ministry of Agriculture, we have the Ministry of Livestock Development. Duplicity, duplicity of office. Eh? Now we don't get like this now. At the time that we are trying to cut down the cost of governance. <laughs> Not the money they go use around that office. No be money. Yeah, yes. They go use money around them. To maintain life's like easy. To oversee the affairs of life. Easy. Cow. Mo me cow. Eh? I, I, I forget it. <laughs> hey! I hope this ministry is not coming on board to replace Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs. Because they feel the reason of now. Since the one of humans, it don't cast. Uh, yes sir because we are trying to help humans with money you know because we could have had that same money now to cow and chop it <laughs> so instead of ministry of humanitarian affairs you know, sir, they're not changing to ministry of livestock development the same funds will be flowing through to and through you understand know, and they go see the hanji themselves with billy billy uh, uh, uh. no put woman for the out <laughs> <laughs> because you might have another better aid. See, I have this strong feeling that this ministry of animal and the cow development eh, is is another name for or another ministry. You understand? They'll be doing the work of humanitarian, but this time for animals and they will stay safe for money. Go mark us somewhere. <laughs> money is about to get lost. I go see on a later. For over a decade, this has been the birthplace of innovation. Innocent Vehicles is a testament to resilience, employing international best practices to create more than just a car. Every vehicle here tells a story of durability, fuel economy and safety. Crafted with the African spirit, the Nigerian heart. These vehicles surrounding me embody the unique concept of regionalization each one designed to cater to the tastes and preferences of our people. From the streets in Nigeria to the terrains of the Sahara, these vehicles are designed for our roads, for our people. This is more than a vehicle. It's a symbol of our progress, our resilience, our collective success story. Your feedback drives us to continuously innovate and improve. Innocent Vehicle, the pride of African roads.